Hi everybody. Hi everybody, are you ready for a 5K right in front of your TV? Well, come on, let's warm up. Now you know, so we've got about three miles to do. A little over three miles is a 5K. So, we'll start out with this warm up first and then we'll get into our miles, okay? Here it comes. Walking in place is our first step. We do four basic steps to get you into the program and then we expand it from there, okay? So just follow along. Nice, easy pace for warm up. Follow the pace of the music. So it really is the guide for us to know that we're doing miles that are as fast as 12 and 13 minutes. That's brisk, that's five miles an hour. So we'll get up into those speeds a little later on. But for now, warming up, nice and easy. Okay, next step I want you to know are side steps. So all you do is step out to the side, bring the other foot in to meet it, and it's just a lateral movement that calls on other muscles than the traditional walking muscles. So remember, walking forward in that motion, you're using the same muscles over and over. In our walking, we can give you this non-traditional movement that calls on new muscle. That's why it's a better calorie burn. You get to use under-trained muscles and train them, so that just gives the whole body a great conditioning. Out together, out together, good. Okay, so you've got walking in place, you've got steps, side steps, now we're gonna go to kicks. All right, now, nice and easy, all I want you to do is lift that foot up and give it a gentle kick. And again, later on, we'll do power kicks. We'll really increase this and we'll add arms. We'll use all the upper body, we'll use the core, we'll use the waist, and we'll just keep that heart rate high so you're burning a lot of calories. This is a great 5K workout. So glad you joined me today. Kick and kick. Here's four more, four, three, and two. Okay, walk in place. Always go back to walking whenever you need to, okay? Later on, I'm going to show you how to boost that walking. Got to accelerate a little bit, too, because we want this to be not only a great endurance workout, but a really high calorie burn. And the boost will do that, so we'll show you that later on. Okay, the only other step I need you to know are knee lifts. So try this. All you're going to do is lift the knee, lift the knee, lift the knee. Perfect. Just a big knee lift. Very nice. Can I get you a little posture check on this one? Think about flattening up your belly. So take your belly button and draw it back to your core. Draw it back into your spine. Good, so it's deep, it's a flattening. All right, next, I want you to make sure that shoulders are stacked above the hips and you just gave yourself perfect posture, great spinal alignment for your body. Two easy moves, flat belly, shoulder stacks above the hips, you did it. Now you're walking tall. Walk in place, here's a walk, good. So you did four basic steps. Now we're gonna start adding a little more motion. I want the muscles warm, I want your body temperature to go up. You'll start to get fluid into the joints, it feels so good because you can really stretch out and move in all the ranges of motion that are so good and healthy for the joints. There's so many benefits to this walk. Oh. <laughs> Keep walking guys, side steps coming back. All right, ready? Step out to the side, and please never worry right or left. That has nothing to do with the workout. If you go left and I go right, it's fine. Keep moving, and you're going to get a great workout. Out together, out together. And I'm just stepping out a little wee bit wider. Just a bit. Good. I just want to build the pace gradually. So when we really hit those miles, we're ready. The body's ready. Okay, walk again. Okay, kicks are coming back. Here it is. Now, raise the leg, raise the leg. Now, a little higher this time. Again, we got to get ourselves ready now. Here's four. Here's three. Here's two. We go back to walking in place. That's just enough to give yourself a little introduction, warm up. Now it's time. This is the point where we really start the 5K. So your body's warm and ready. Now, here's the pace that is aerobic. So I want you to just... Allow your body to get used to that brisk pace. Walk. Good. Pick up those feet. It's a power walk, so go ahead and start pumping the arms. Nice. That's it. And walk, walk, walk. Four more. Here's four. Three. Now get ready for a side step. Here it comes. Step out together. Nice. Oh, it feels so good. Just a little wider step. And again, you just call on more muscle. If you bend your knees, 
is you're going to be able to take a wider step. Up together, up together. Ooh, it's a good way to get your body up. Get it up and moving. Four, three, two. Let's walk again. Good walk. Nice. Kicks are coming back. Four, three, two, and a kick. Tight tummy before you raise that leg. Pull the belly button toward the spine and you just engage the core. You lock it in, you make it strong. Kick and kick and kick and kick. Here's four more. Four, three, two. Walk again. Walk. Good. Power walk. Go ahead and come forward. Nice. Good pace to raise that heart rate. Good pace for you to get into aerobic walking. Four, three. Get ready for knee lifts. Here they come. Knees up. Knees up. Knees up. Knees up. Very good. Come on now. Tight tummy. Shoulders right above the hip bone. You got it. Perfect posture, great spinal alignment. Nice. How about guide your hand toward your knee? Opposite hand to opposite knee. And wow, already, you're not only working deep muscle layers by pulling back. So those are the deep ab muscles when you pull it back. But also, anytime you touch across the body, rotators, the obliques, kick in. So oh, we're working those abs just as intensely as we're working the legs, the back end, the thighs. Four and three and two. You're walking now. Yeah, go. Woo! Feels good. Already feels so good. Oh, we're only a few minutes in. Nice. In your first mile. Very good. Four more counts. Four, three. How about a side step? They're big ones now. Come on, jump out there. You gotta just get those legs to work with power. If you bend those knees, you step out wider. Step out, step out, good. Whew. How's your heart rate? Going up, yeah. Now, good way to check. You Whew. still carry on a bit of a conversation, but talk back to it. <laughs> Make sure your breathing should be heavy, and that's good. The heart rate's up. But it shouldn't be that you're so out of breath. You couldn't say a few words. Five, six, seven. Okay, let's walk right here and walk. It's a good way to talk test. Any time you think, let me just see how I'm doing. Just say a few words, see if it's okay, get in the mountain, you're good. Okay, guys. Now, upper body, here it comes. I want you to reach up and bring it down. Reach up, bring it down. Another one involves more ab muscles than you know. Your midsection. Those muscles fire up when you reach your hands above your head. Simple moves call on a lot of muscle. Four, three, two, drop the arms, good, power walk, nice. You wanna move around a little. Two up and two back, if you have some space at home, use it. If you don't have a lot of room, never worry. Just stay where you are and keep power walking. Okay, now, ready? All I want you to do is move forward, and then move back. Two steps, one and two. Now back up, one and two. One, it feels good to be in motion. Putting the body in motion, muscles in motion. A little bigger calorie burn. Very nice. One more. Let's stay right here. Come on, feet. Pick up those feet, feet and power walk. But it keeps you on your pace, so that's good too. But 
I'm going for a bigger burn. Go low if you want that bigger burn. Gentle, more gentle. Press walk. 
A low impact walk is not sissy stuff. It burns a lot of calories and gets you in great shape. You don't have to jog. I know this is jogging. I call it loose walking. <laughs> okay, I know you know. Come on. Two, three, four more counts. It's only two minutes. We're almost done with a minute. Come on, okay. How about some gentle kicks? Although they're high impact, they're mini. This gives you something new to do with those feet, but you're staying high in that. That's it, a little different leg muscle. mile of your 5k good for you hang in there if you're staying with us ah keep moving here's the next beat okay we're back to low impact but high intensity nice in the mile two already look how fast it goes okay so the pace kind of settled off of the boost it's into a endurance time come on it's brisk just pick up your feet ah nice Open up those feet. I want you to take knee lifts from a wider stance so we can just use new muscle. So, again, you open up your feet for a walk, and then we're going to start some knee lifts. All right, ready? It looks like this. Pull your knee up, knee up, knee up. And again, because we had a wider base this time, we're activating other muscles on the back of thighs, hips. And I love adding crossover. That means I touch my opposite knee. Thank you. 
arms are down. It's power walking. Side steps, singles and then doubles. Ready? Let's do singles. Step out and step out. We'll take the next beat coming up. Step out. Oh, don't you hear that? It just, it just shocked you so good. Woo. Okay, let me get a beat. I want to walk until I'm sure I have that. Say, that's it. One, two, one, two. You know, just when my feet get it, I feel so good. Walk, 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 walk. I'm going to go back to side step. I'm going to get you with some doubles. Side step here. Go. There you go. Yeah. Activity. You've got to give it the activity. Okay, guys. 
four, three, two. Good, let's transition next ball. You know what that sound is? It's already the boost. And why I love this is because you're almost at the end of the second mile. You're almost done. Weight loss? I'd like to see a 
sweat three times a week at least, okay? You need these sweaty ones. So this is a perfect thing. That 5K gives you that good power burn, that good sweat. Knee lift, ready? Here's a knee lift, lift up, lift up, lift up, knee. lift high. Come on, don't you tire on me. Come on, feet, don't fail me now. <laughs> Touch the opposite knee. And you know what happens toward the end of workout, you get silly, you know. Oxygen to the brain makes you feel so good, you just get silly. You walk yourself silly. <laughs> Use that one on the kids. Say, go walk yourself silly, you fucking kids. Huh? Four more. Your mother is silly and we'll be all silly now. A silly family. Walk, 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 walk. Walk yourself healthy. Walk yourself smart. Walk yourself. Walk away blues. Oh, my goodness. Walk away health issues, right? Walking helps everything. Reach out. Reach out. You name it. Walking helps it. It really is the medicine of life. Reach, reach. Four, three side steps moving forward. Four, here they come. Four, three, two. They're big, giant steps. And again, it's okay to do them in place. But if you've got some room, let's go. All right, come on. Step out wide and open up arms. And four, here comes four. One, two, three, four. That's nice. Wow. Two, three, forward. One, two. Four, good, back, two, three, four, one, two, three, back it up. We're doing one more set. Come forward. Feels good. Okay, we're walking down. Whew. Well, you know, whatever was bothering you, uh, you know, two miles ago, isn't bothering you anymore, right? That's the magic. Of our miles. Come on, tight tummy. Transition to next one. Blow out that air. Come on, stay on the pace. You know you're almost there. You know when I make those announcements, when I have a big group of walkers, we all cheer. But I'll cheer for you. It's almost time. <laughs> Woo! Feels so good. Go ahead, get your sweaty hair out of your out of your way. It's okay. Whenever you're ready. All right, come on. Let's power this up. And all we do is just turn our body. The feet don't follow. Don't worry. If you just turn your body. And add some arms. But you don't have to. That's the beauty of being home there. You make a choice. You can say, hey, I'll walk through this. I think that's a good choice. Eight more. Eight. Seven. Six. Five. Four. Three. Two. Walk, walk, walk. The only into it. That's the only bad choice you can make. <laughs> I know you wouldn't do that. Come on, walk with me. Get excited about <laughs> getting fit. Get excited about losing weight. Thank you. You can do it. If you, you have some goals and you want to lose weight, you can do it. And this is so smart. Nice. Great. Double knee lifts coming. Let's open up our feet and get ready for that. Double knee lifts. Ready? Let's try it here. Lift knees. Lift knees. Good. It's two. Good. Take your time to get a little foot adjustment. I need it. Whew. And then I can really power into the move. Once I feel confident with my steps, then I really add muscle, muscle, muscle. I tuck my tummy back. I got my arms flying. All those muscles are powerful and strong. Good for the hips. Good for the thighs.
the beginning, kind of warm up now, before I go into stretch. This is recovery. When heart rate is zooming, don't dare go to a standstill. And for anybody, even advanced exercisers, you've got to give yourself a cool down pace to transition and get the heart rate down safely, breathing back to normal, and then we add some nice stretching. Because stretching is so smart when your muscles are really this stretching. I worry about that stuff. I know people do it, but I'll tell you, that's not my preference. Stretching after you do brisk exercise. Oh, it's just happy for the body. The muscles love it. The joints are ready. I think it's the smartest time. Walk easy. So you feel recovered. You may need a little more time to walk around. That's a good sign of some good fitness if you can recover quickly. So if you're still kind of feeling like the heart rate's too high, I want you to continue to walk. I'm going to take you into a stretch now. Blow out. Whew. Okay. Open up the feet. Bend the knees a bit. And again, if you're ready for the stretch, let's inhale. And let's exhale. Take air in through the nose. And now empty out your mouth. A deep exhale. This time I want you to just take it halfway. Nice open stretch. The chest, shoulder, biceps, everything stretches here. Now if we close it up, we stretch across the back from shoulder to shoulder. All those beautiful back muscles that hold us tall. So important for a healthy body, a well-trained body. Open up. You don't just train some of your body, you train the whole body. Close it up. These are the type of workouts that do that for you. Open up. Let's reach high. Reach high. You feel that into the trunk. Wow, I love feeling my waistline long down into my hips. That's a great stretch. It's so simple. Okay, and I can and close. Just a little turn because I need you to stretch the low part of your leg. That tension settles into the calf and it balls it up. So we're going to relax it, stretch it out. Okay, so I want to bring my body weight forward just a bit, but I'm not going to allow my knee to go over my toe. I can see my toe, so I know I'm fine. If you need a better stretch, scoot it back. Lean the body weight forward. Hip flexors are right at the base of your trunk. All you do is bend here. Great spinal alignment, a straight back. A tight tummy supports you. If you need your hand on your thigh, that is absolutely fine. And as deep as you can, you feel the hamstrings the opposite leg stretch. Okay, let's pull out of that. Turn the other side. Hold your stretches as long as you need. Make sure that you feel that tension go away. Same thing. Heel is planted into the floor and I'm simply taking my body weight forward for the first phase of the stretch. Okay, good breathing. together. Uh. Okay. Uh. 